If you choose to ignore the facts, then you are nothing but an ignorant clown. I'm so sorry. Are you actually dumb? Someone needs to let me know now. Are you actually dumb? Are you or are, or are you just dumb? I don't understand. For anybody to be sitting here with their chest and saying the police in the US don't protect a certain demographic more than the other, I think it's absolutely ludicrous if you don't believe that. This man, seven flipping times. Are you actually stupid? Seven times it took place. Can you imagine how traumatized the children are in that car? How many more will it take and how many more are not filmed? How many more will it take? How many more are not filmed? There must be dozens and several. Can you imagine what was going on prior to the use of social media? Before I do guys, subscribe to the podcast. Sometimes I forget to do intros because I just get so heated with these situations. Subscribe to the podcast guys, especially those who are watching via my YouTube channel, a quick 10 minute episode, just to let you guys know about this recent update. That So, so click that button and subscribe to the podcast, hashtag I'm over it, and let's just get straight into this video. If they're moving like this, the police are not out here to serve you. Like it's just so crazy. It's such an institutionalized, disgusting organization that is there to harm people, patrol people, control people, and you know, say, if you listen to us, we will harm you. There is no reason for you to be doing up seven, are you dumb, seven times. Just imagine how traumatized, not only Jacob Blake will be, because he'll be traumatized more than anybody on this planet because it was him who was involved in this incident. But can you guys just imagine, for one second, can you guys actually, actually just imagine how traumatized the children will be from this entire situation. They were young. I think, I believe there were four people in there, four children sitting there. You're looking up and you're seeing seven times the police are harming your father. Your dad is screaming in pain. That scream of pain that your dad has had, you will never forget. You will never forget it. And you have to live with that for the rest of your life. Then they will have this even more conditioned fear um, of the police as they grow up and they, some of them might fall into very similar situations from the way the police act. But people don't really talk about the after effects of situations like this. And that is what I really want to get into, is how the children are going to be feeling from this. How will they cope from this? They will then see their dad in hospital. They will see the event. They will see the effect of the event. And then later on down the line, the it will affect them. They will get PTSD, they will get breathless, they will get scared if they were in a car, especially more than anybody else. You just get scared. And this is the traumatization that happens to a lot of people that people don't really think about. They just, they don't talk about PTSD. They don't, don't talk about the after effects of disgusting kind of racist institutionalized acts that take place by the police organization in, especially in the US, but all over the world. But luckily, thank the Lord, thank the damn Lord that he is stable. Like, this is trending number one on Twitter, hashtag Black Lives Matter, especially for those people who, you know, forgot about the trend because they thought it was just a trend and they must have been like, oh wait, this is back again, this is cool, what's going on? Like, I feel like people will think of like, it's just a, it's something that just keeps coming up here and there when it's cool and popular, let's just start tweeting or let's just start talking about it because people just see it as some trend. 